Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ms. Artastic Podcast. In this episode, my lovely friend, I'm going to be diving in on three summer choice-based art lesson ideas. And yes, I'm going to be giving you a free printable art choice board activity all themed for summer giving you a whole grid of art lesson ideas to provide your kids that you can use in a ton of different ways whether it's a when you're done a bell ringer um it could be a um, art tasks for summer vacation if you like to give that kind of thing it could be just activities for the end of the year during the year whatever it is it's free for you to use no matter what kind of classroom you got or if you're a homeschool parent good for that too so let's dive in on today's episode you're listening to the miss artastic podcast inspiration for art teachers here's your host kathleen mcgivern summer warmth and these vibes have been giving me some very like well a lot of extra creative juices i'm so stoked um first of all my studio here where we are at um if you're watching this on youtube you're gonna see it or maybe you're just listening to me talk about it on my podcast um but either way um, it's warm again. It was so cold. I was doing a lot of work inside and not so much outside in the studio for a while. It's just so cold. Anywho, we are back in the studio. I'm so excited to be in here. Um, so we're going to be diving in, in on this episode on three summer art ideas, again, that you can do with kids for the perfect summer addition to your art exploration with your kids or students. So If you are wanting that free printable art choice board, if you are listening to this on YouTube or on your favorite podcast player in the podcast description, there's going to be a link to the podcast show notes, which are found on my blog, MsArtTastic.com. You can click that link and at the bottom of the blog post, you're going to find this summer art choice board, free printable, print it off, use it with your kids so many ways to use it um and then you can you can always laminate it and uh use it with all your classes if you're teaching um all kinds of classes or um reuse it every single year so prep once and be done okay so my first idea is a summer plein air landscape artwork oh yes So it's good weather so we're gonna bring hopefully hopefully so we're gonna bring some plein air artwork into your classroom exploring plein air painting or art making so the first summer choice based art idea that you can do is to let kids explore plein air painting or making art plein air really just means the act of painting outdoors and you can make this as big or as small as you want so whether you're going to a park beach lake hike nature walk or your backyard so if you're a parent at home or homeschool uh, you can go to these places or if you're a teacher um, you can go around the schoolyard um, whatever this can be done so the simple version is this you can give kids some paper which i like to say something to draw on and a clipboard and a choice art making medium which would be your something to draw with so i always say grab something to draw on and something to draw with that way it's super choice and they are being independent learners that way as well something to draw they are responsible for something to draw on something to draw with um when I had my classroom, I always had drawing boards or and a stack of clipboards, and they can just go grab that. Some kids like to use their sketchbooks. Some kids like to use binders. They're responsible for grabbing something to draw on, something to draw with, and paper, of course. Um, and then go outdoors. So have them find a spot to create and sit down. They should spend a few minutes looking around and observing. So we're trying to connect our observational skills and get those active activated and then when they see something they like they can draw it so this can be a whole pond a section of a pond or a landscape or even as small as a snail crawling across a leaf ducks walking across the grass um a blade of grass a petal just one leaf have them zoom out on an area and then look close and zoom in okay so they can zoom out on whole areas or zoom in on things like bark 
flowers, critters, whatever. Okay, so another idea for this, so if you wanted to make it up a little notch, you can do full plein air painting. So another idea is to give kids cardstock or watercolor paints and a set of watercolor paints, um, paper, sorry, I messed that up, either cardstock or watercolor paper and a set of watercolor paints and then have them explore painting outdoors. I absolutely love this idea because watercolors only need a little bit of water and paint. So you can use a small lid jars. I just love to keep like old salsa jars and all those kinds of things, whatever your, um, well, a lot of food comes in jars. So keep those jars. I wash them. The lids always screw back on nicely. They're great for snacks. Um, but you can also use them as lidded jars for water to take with you, okay? So when you go traveling to go plein air painting, you can keep your water in there, screw it back on. Um, it's good to go until you're done using it. And then you can let it drain away. <laughs> so you can take that with you, um, put it in your bag, then grab a clipboard, sheets of paper, uh, paintbrush per kid, and a set of watercolor paints, and then you're ready to go. That's it, super minimal, right? Even have some brands even make like small little pocket sized um, watercolor paint sets. Whatever you can find, just use what you got. And then just head outdoors and get ready to create. So um, this is a beautiful thing to do on a summer act as a summer activity. It's low cost. It's something totally different that maybe the kids are not used to doing. It's great for families. It's great for classroom kids. Whatever, this is a lovely activity. And then you can capture some beautiful moments in nature with paints. But don't forget that you should definitely participate as well. To help kids with either of these, to help kids work longer, I suggest setting a timer on your phone to help them pace. So you're not having kids work for like one minute and then come up to you and be like, I'm done. <laughs> so it's that's often with younger kids, right? Because the, the time passes differently for them. Okay, so set a timer and say, okay, we have to at work for at least this, at a minimum of like, until the timer goes off, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, if they're stuck, they can add more details, add value, add texture. What else do they notice? Those kinds of things. And then they have to at least work for that minimum till the timer goes off, whatever you set it at. And it's gonna be different depending on the ability, the age, all, all the above, right? So that that's an idea. Now pro tip for this one is get some dollar store frames and frame the finished product for a little gallery wall that you can change as you find and create new artworks. Um, or they could become gifts and they can go home if you're in a classroom. Um, or they can turn them into a gift if you're a parent doing this. Or you can turn it into a gift for a loved one. So these are, these are all ideas and you can just give it that beautiful little finished product. All right, next idea is a summer art scavenger hunt. So this one is a, an especially good idea if the weather is good outside or if they are littles and you're into it, you can create and hide things around your home or classroom for them to find and draw as well. And if you don't have time to take learning outdoors, basically get creative with this. So first in your planning, set up things for students to find that are things that are related to summer, summer activities, or outdoor seasonal changes with summer. So for example, there's flowers in summer, trees are fully leaved um, versus winter or spring where there's a visible, usually a visible seasonal change unless you don't have, unless you don't have that. <laughs> then never mind. Um, okay. So then either they are actual things to draw, like maybe they have to draw the slide or stairs, or you can go and hide clues or drawing prompts like an amazing race or objects to go draw, or they have to draw, find drawing prompts to um, draw essentially. Um, and so basically what I'm saying is that you can do this in a lot of ways. It's the idea, 
but it's very choice based. You're only going to prompt them on a very basic thing, but the way they draw it, the finished product, maybe even the mediums that they use, that is all student choice. So it's very low prep. It's super engaging. They're going to be totally stoked whether you're doing this at home with your own kids or in a classroom. They are going to be so excited, it's so different, but they're going to be engaging in art making and they're going to want to do it. They're going to be getting some movement in and it's super choice based, which is totally sweet. So you're going to be really just getting them. Yeah, creative juices flowing, yo. Anyway, so next you're going to design your summer themed scavenger hunt. So you can have them set up a page in a sketchbook or make a printable yourself and then put them on clipboards and then you're ready to go. And then once you're all done setting it up and prepping your scavenger hunt, you can teach the lesson, explain the parameters and let them grab choice art mediums and discover and create. Bonus! You can definitely give prizes to first finishers, a completion prize for everybody, sticker, bookmark, you print off, Canva, um, a jelly bean, whatever. Or even my favorite prize, quietest jar, or helping others, leader, role model to younger students, etc. All right, next idea and final idea is a summer choice board free printable. Okay, so this wouldn't be choice be joy, choice, bleh. Try saying that one again. This wouldn't be choice based themed if I didn't recommend doing a choice board, would it? All right, so I know you're relaxed and feeling those summer vibes, so don't worry. I have totally created this free printable choice board for you. It's included in this on the podcast show notes. So again, if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on the podcast, on your podcast player, make sure you click the links to the show notes in the description um, below or in the podcast show notes, and it's going to take you to my blog podcast show notes. And at the very bottom, if you scroll down, you're going to find the summer choice board reprintable and you can download it instantaneously. Definitely. Okay. So the best thing with this is that you can have kids or students use all of them or just a little, you can laminate them, turn them into a, when you're done art activity an art activity for your home. It could be weekly art tasks for at home or in the classroom during summer vacation. Um, as they finish up other work or testing, you can use this, or you can use this as actual assignments or even sketchbook assignments. Um, basically they can complete all of them, complete two, complete five, like literally endless possibilities. You can even give prizes for this if you really want to, like most on task, best role model, leader, quietest table mate, respecting mediums, helping others, etc. Again, I love to promote those kinds of accountability pieces as prizes as well. You don't really have to buy prizes if you have no budget. I have, I, I don't really, I've never been a big person on buying prizes to be honest. Um, but I would do things like sit in a beanbag chair or a camping chair if you have one. You just grab a cheap cramp camping chair and that could be like a special chair for the classroom. That could be a prize. Um, or sit at, at, at the teacher's desk or I've printed off and made my own bookmarks and just print them onto cardstock and cut them up. Boom, you're done. And they could be black and white and the kids can like color them in, right? Um, sometimes I even let kids have like a stuffy at their desk or whatever. Basically be creative. Kids just love the change and recognition. So again, you can either make your own summer art choice board or you can find this free printable summer art choice board download in the show notes. So if you're on the show notes page, just scroll to the bottom. There's a big, big banner buttons that say download free printable choice board now. Click it if you need to go there because you're on YouTube or on the podcast player. Then click in the show notes my or in the podcast description or YouTube description below the video. Click the link to the podcast show notes and it's going to take you there and you can scroll down to the bottom and check it out. Grab that choice board and my friend, that's it for this episode. This is Ms. Artastic signing out. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what, 
kind of teacher you are for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons, all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic, signing